Hello, this is Zach McKinley, and I will be performing a pestle analysis of Japan, along with Taylor Martin and Cody Holloway. I will be covering the political and technological analyses, Cody will be covering the economic and environmental analyses, and Taylor will be covering the socio-political and legal analyses. So let's get started. I want to begin by showing you this chart depicting the governmental system of Japan. The only two elements that I really want you to recognize here are the facts that Japan has a significant system of checks and balances, and the people have a strong democratic representation in government. One of the first longitudinal measures I'd like to show you comes from the World Bank and explains a general government effectiveness rating from a very reliable study. Here you can see that Japan actually surpasses the U.S. in terms of its governmental effectiveness by a total of seven points, and passes China used here as an example of another Asian Pacific nation, by a total of 31 points. The governmental effectiveness of Japan has been on a consistent upward trend since the mid-1990s, until topping the measure today. This implies that the governmental structure of Japan is very effective in governing its people, managing its resources, and maintaining stability as a whole, and it is still improving even further. Japan is also a world leader in managing corruption within its political system, and has been stable in doing so for the past few decades. Currently, Japan surpasses the U.S. by 4 percentage points and China by a tremendous 46 percentage points. This is important from a Western business standpoint because organizations considering doing business in or with Japan can expect highly efficient and effective control measures from the Japanese government. Next, perhaps the most significant aspect of Japan's political strength is its political stability and absence of violence as Japan significantly leads both the U.S. and China in this regard, and has done so consistently for many years. Accordingly, moving business resources to Japan carries very little risk of loss due to violence, terrorism, or political unrest. The regulatory quality in Japan is significantly above that of China, and not far behind that of the U.S. This means that organizations doing business in or with Japan can expect efficient regulatory systems in areas such as environmental regulations, manufacturing, financial services, and food and drug sales. Finally, individuals within Japan are allowed freedom of speech almost identical to that enjoyed by individuals in the U.S. This is important to note because other Asian Pacific countries such as China lack such freedoms by a tremendous margin. Businesses can therefore expect their Japanese national workers in aggregate to have significant political influence, and they can also enjoy the benefits of funding strategic lobbying as well. A few additional key takeaways are as follows. Japan's political system is a constitutional monarchy, with an emperor that serves a primarily symbolic role, and that functions as a true form of democracy. It has a strong system of checks and balances that allow for minimal corruption and maximum stability. Organizations doing business in Japan can expect almost no significant risk of loss due to violence, political unrest, corruption, or unfair, weak regulations. On to the very large and unique Japanese economy. Japan had record economic growth, or what's commonly called their economic miracle, shortly after the Second World War. The United States aided Japan in efforts to slow down the Soviet Union's growth into the Pacific. These miracle years were mainly aided by the Japanese government intervention, along with help from the West. The Japanese ability to master high technology and a well-known strong work ethic has allowed them to grow to the second largest economy in the world with a 4.92 trillion GDP as of 2013. Japan is also one of the United States' largest trade partners, and much like the U.S., a large percentage of their GDP relies on exporting goods and services to other countries. This number will only continue to rise with the rapid expansion of globalization. Japan is poised to grow their exports of automobiles and machinery, which are their top two exports as of 2015. Even Japan, with the largest electronics industry and the third largest automobile industry in the world, has had inconsistency in their GDP growth. The largest percentage of growth coming in the second quarter of 1990 with a record low of a minus 4% growth in the first quarter of 2009. Though Japan has an extremely loyal culture and can be hard to break into a new business, Japan businesses, which are really different between US and, and Europe, the differences, however, do not make it any more risky to do business there. Japan's sense of loyalty to partners can be very beneficial to foreign companies 
who understand and know how to work within the Japanese culture. Let us discuss the socio-culture aspects of Japan. Over the last 25 years, Japan's population has increased at a steady rate compared to the United States and now totals 127.3 million people, while the U.S. totals 318.9 million people. While the population seems much smaller by number comparison, the entire population, which fits inside the island's parameters, is comparable to all of the population fitting within the state of Montana in the United States. The people of Japan are primarily of Japanese origin, however there is a presence of Korean and Chinese backgrounds. Most citizens of Japan belong to a mixed faith religion which crosses both Shintoism and Buddhism beliefs. As you can see here, Japan is quite competitive with the United States. Japan educates their youth in less time with a more competitive learning regimen. Japanese citizens live longer than Americans, and Jap Japan is just four places behind the U.S. when you factor in the average wages of citizens. When doing business in Japan, it is important that a business be familiar with the mannerisms and culture styles of Japan. The Japanese regard themselves as part of a group and therefore pay more respect to collective goals over individual goals. The Japanese also have a high respect for an individual status and believe that a potential foreign partner should take note of who's who in the room and in some cases even make exceptions to accommodate those of high status. Once a foreign partner has gained entry into the Japanese market, it is important to understand what motivates the Japanese. For, for instance, controlled behavior is encouraged over instant gratification like in the U.S. The Japanese also tend to learn more on their values and quality of life rather than being driven by money and tangible items. In summary, if a foreign company can learn how the Japanese behave as mentioned, then the organization can be successful in entering the market and create a stable relationship with the Japanese. Japan has been known around the world as a global leader in technological innovation. Recently, however, Japan's decrease in innovations have led some to claim that the best days of Japan's technological advancement are over. Let's evaluate some recent trends in the technological focus of Japan. Japan has generally held pace with the U.S. in the export of high-end technological exports such as robotics, IT systems and servers, and supercomputers. Although net exports in this category have been less than that of the U.S., it is Japan has a significantly smaller population. Thus, the dollar amount of exports when viewed per capita in high-end technology is truly an incredible accomplishment for Japan. Recently, however, it has broken trend over the last few years to be decreasing its high-end technological exports, while the U.S. has been increasing slowly. At the same time, patent applications have been falling. It can be argued that Japan's reduction in high-end technological exports and patent applications is due to Japan's shifting focus more from high-end technological research and development to consumer-end technological manufacturing. However, it is important to note from this graph that Japan has been a superior world leader in technological innovation for a very long time and by a very large margin. Japan's number of technicians in R&D has also been in a slow but long-run decline. Finally, we can interpret all of the aforementioned graphs by recognizing that there is a global trend in reduced export of high-end technological products. This implies that manufacturing in the world as a whole is shifting more toward the export of consumer and technological products as technology becomes increasingly accessible at reduced costs. Japan has simply held consistent with this trend. Another element I'd like to point out is that although patent applications and technicians in research and development have declined, the number of scientific and technical professional publishing has increased slowly but steadily. This implies that Japan's increasing academic focus on technology has remained consistent. Thus, although some might argue that Japan is declining as a world leader in technological innovation, I would argue that it is merely adjusting to the global shift from high-end to consumer-end technological innovation and production. This is important for businesses to understand because Japan still represents a very real potential to emerge as a global leader in consumer-end technology and to remain as a global leader in technology as a whole. Thus, although Japan has recently faced criticism for its decline in high-end technological innovation, it is far from being out of the global technological race. 
Global technological trends have shifted focus from innovations in high-end technology to make room for innovations in consumer end tech, and Japan has been appropriately adapting. Organizations looking to do business in or with Japan would be wise to not underestimate the current technological capabilities and future potential of Japan. Finally, there are a number of significant, well-known technological leaders in the global marketplace. These organizations tend to represent their home country via red and white logos, which match the colors of the Japanese flag. Moreover, a basic evaluation of many of these companies' recent business moves would confirm the shift from high-end to consumer-end focus. Lastly, let us explore the legal aspects of Japan. Japan has a five-tiered court system, beginning at the bottom with summary, family, district, high, and supreme court. As you move up the court system, the cases range from simple civil matters to appeals. All the judges that reside in these courts follow the civil law system, which is important to note for potential businesses looking to enter the market because the judges have no room to interpret the law. Once a case is presented, the judges will follow the code that has been in place for decades and the law will be applied according to the code. Japan is a member of the World Trade Organization, as is the United States, and this is a good sign for potential foreign investors because the World Trade Organization will ensure that all member countries obey all rules when doing business with one another. Japan and the United States alike have strict intellectual property right laws that work to protect organizations. Japan and the United States match completely when it comes to which intellectual property rights they support, which are patent utility and design laws, as well as trademark and copyright laws, and the granted length of each law is the same in both countries. A potential business investor can feel comfortable knowing that their brand, technology, and other proprietary property will be protected with high regard. We'd like to conclude by performing a SWOT analysis of Japan, evaluating the pastel elements we have covered. Beginning with strengths, Japan has very strong intellectual property rights, which makes it a favorable environment for businesses who uh, license or sell intellectual property. It's also a very politically stable country, and it's been well known over the past several decades to be a leader in technological innovation. Weaknesses of Japan include its complex and outdated civil law system, the fact that it's recently reduced research and development spending, and uh, declined in its output of patent applications. And finally, the fact that the Bank of Japan currently has negative interest rates. Japan's opportunities include a global shift toward consumer and technological products, which it's been appropriately addressing. Uh, there's also a large amount of growth available in clean energy in Japan, and the medical device industry in Japan has recently been deregulated. Threats to Japan include the fact that the U.S. has recently begun outputting a larger number of technological patents than Japan, and the fact that Japan faces limited freedom of the press, which makes it very hard for news organizations based in Japan to compete in a global environment.